Hey guys, welcome back. Um, have not been to Walmart in a while to look at their plant clearance, uh, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go check out, see what they have in the garden center. Um, it's been like, what, six, eight weeks since I've been in here to look at the garden stuff. So I thought I'd bring you with me. Fingers crossed we find something great. I already saw something outside on the walkway when I was pulling up a rose. <laughs> What I'm really here for is that I need some more cups for up potting my plants for the upcoming plant sale and I do need some bird netting and I know that I can buy that here because I bought a pack last time we were here. They look so much better from far away. They do not look the best. They did have some basic um, plants, I guess the expert brand, uh, generic kind of tomatoes and peppers for a fair price. They had four packs. Um, a lot of them didn't really have the brands listed. They just had, you know, pepper, tomato as the listing, but these were a fair price. Now, when I moved over to the national brand vegetable plants, they were looking really sad. A lot were completely dried out. I don't know if the Walmart uh, members who work in the garden center are not allowed to water this brand. Overall, the majority of all the plants I saw uh, during my little stroll through the center look fairly healthy. You can see there's lots of different uh, plants, all kinds of variety. And uh, of course, I, wanna, I wanted so many, but I only have so much space for so many plants, but I did think the succulents and cacti looked really good. Um, let's see what else we can find. So I did get a few of the four packs that were only $2.84. This prearranged collection by Proven Winners did stop me in my tracks. I mean, I loved it. I even took a picture and sent it to my daughter, but I don't like the price. Of course, I love Hookra or Cora Bells, but I have so many growing in my yard and they sell seed. Um, I was really good. You'll be surprised. I only bought just a few things and I'll show you at the end of the video, but you can see so much color, so many uh, different beautiful things. I did get that caladium right there on the right. Uh, couldn't help myself. You can store those tubers over the winter and I have some I need to go find and we need to plant those uh, from last year. You can also store your begonia tubers as well, and I do have some in the garage we need to locate and get going immediately. And then I did look at the little small section of plant supports, and I did get the 12 pack of bamboo. I was just like um, $5.96, which was a great deal for 12. And then the clearance section looked really sad, so I did not get anything from the clearance section. Personally, I've had very poor luck with the bulbs that I've bought from Walmart a few different times. So I'm not going to look at those, but I did look at the houseplants. Overall, they really looked really good. Uh, just don't need any. So, of course, I passed. But I did send a few pictures to my daughter because she loves houseplants. I did pick up another bag of fertilizer, and I've used all three of these. And today I went with this one just because I want to get my overwintered peppers into the ground. I did get some more of these plant toes or plant supports um, for your pots like they go underneath to keep the water from pooling like on your deck so I do like those and I really wanted to get this but it was so expensive I'm going to come up with a hack from the home improvement store to make that same thing um, for squirrels when they start digging uh, I think it's going to be very useful and I just kind of browse the hand tools real quick and didn't really need anything although every time I, <laughs> I've been there I've seen these little cute kid watering cans and I always think I should just get one for me because they're so cute I like the elephant but did not get it because I don't need it so I did really well stick into uh, my shopping list kind of sorta and you can see they do still have some raised beds and lots of planters. I did look, didn't buy any, but I did get my bird seed because I've got lots of hungry birds outside. And I did kind of look at some of the organic or natural um, pest control things that they had available as well. 
I wanted to remind you guys it's not too early to start thinking about your food preservation when all of your garden stuff starts coming in. So you may want to go ahead and maybe get some canning supplies. So this is what I ended up getting. I got a four pack of the rose moss, some celosia, which was a four pack, and then the vinca. They were all $284 for four, and I did get that caladium, which was $497. Thanks for watching.